Hi everyone. Hello. And welcome to a video on two new Maresque fragrances. And I say new, but new to the UK, just yes. to clarify that. <laughs> um, so we did do a video on Maresque. Yes, we did. We'll link it below mm. um, if you haven't watched it already. Uh, Maresque is a Italian brand. Yes. But it, with a lot of Middle Eastern influence. Yes. So it's kind of a mix of Italian and Middle Eastern um, feel and stories and smells. Mm. Yeah. It's like kind of the Italian craftsmanship because their bottles are beautiful, as you'll yeah. see, handmade items. But then that Middle Eastern, as you say, the ingredients and yeah. what have you. Yeah. Okay. So shall we, let's do the lighter one first. Okay. Because there's quite a light one um, and then more of a darker, deeper one. Yes. And I think sometimes in perfumery, it's always good practice to spray the lightest one on first. True. Because otherwise your nose kind of gets blinded by the, yeah. the spices in the deeper one. Yes. So the kind of lighter, fresher fragrance is Fiore di Portofino. Um, Look at that bottle. Beautiful. This is so nice. It's a kind of aqua, greeny mm. blue um, colour glass, which is apparently inspired by the bay yes. of uh, Portofino and the glistening water that is mm. there. I don't know if any of you have been there. Mm. You've I've been. been a beautiful yeah. area of the world. I have been to Italy, but not to Portofino. Yeah. But I'd like to go. It's on my list. Definitely. Um, um, there's a lovely sort of marble effect yes. stone on the top as well. I mean, the bottles in Moresque are just mm. a huge part of the artwork. Mm. Um, this lovely, it's gold, gold leaf, isn't yeah. it, that's kind of painted on. It's almost like brush strokes, yeah. almost like the sun rays hitting mm -hmm. the deck. Yeah. Um, and also you've got the crystals. The Swarovski crystals yeah. in the, around the logo. Gorgeous. So let's have a try. Okay. Now, I have actually sneakily yes. tried this already. So have I. <laughs> I always wear long sleeves when I want to spray my wrist. That's not good, is it? But it's good okay. to see how it is at first, because with this one, actually, I know that at first it's quite different. Yeah, because it's very green. Really aromatic, yes. isn't it? Really. Mm. I mean, I feel like almost like kind of galbanum y. Oh, kind of, yeah, um, really. Resinous. Yes, mm. like sharp. Yeah. So for me, I can smell that brightness of mm. the fruits. Okay, oh, You know, if you think about Italy, often you're thinking of lemons and True. beautiful Sicilian oranges, mm. etc. And I can smell that combined with this almost like basil geranium. Yes, there is definitely note. those kind of notes in there as well. Yeah, yeah I like it. Um, but when I spray it, so I sprayed it earlier here. Oh, um, let's have a test of that. It's much. Oh, it's n nice. It's softer. Much softer. It almost kind of, a floral. Yes, mm. and like I think there's quite a lot of um, neroli in yeah. this uh, fragrance, and it's got that kind of yes, yeah, soft powdery. Yeah. Um, it's not an intense floral. neroli though, like some orange blossom type no. fragrances, but again, it, it gives you that sort of gentle hint mm -hmm. of sunlight on water. You know, when sunlight yeah. hits water and it's sort of dappled effect, yeah. that's what I think of. Um, I also found when I was wearing this yesterday, it's almost soapy on yes. the dry down. Yes, which true. is quite interesting. It smells yeah. clean, you know. It does smell very clean, mm. and all the Maresque um, are kind of marketed as shared, like unisex fragrances. So, and I feel like this one particularly would be really nice on a guy, mm. just refreshing and clean. Yeah, although fi Fiori, I means think flowers. means flower, doesn't yeah. it? So, but, but that doesn't matter. Guys, no, flowers, I like I it. Mind. Yeah, I like it has it. got florals. It's got mimosa yeah. and iris in there. Mm, definitely smell the iris. That powdery, yeah. yeah. So I like that very much. Mm -hmm. um, the next one is very different. Yes. So this one, you can tell, actually, if you look at them side by side, you can see already, yeah. you know, you know, with the aquamarine green and gold, and then this deep theatre red. Um, it's with very dramatic, it's isn't it? Hugely dramatic. And this one is called Contessa. It is. So um, Contessa was inspired by the Countess of Constaglione, Ooh. who apparently was the lover of Napoleon III. Mm. Intriguing. Mm. She was known apparently for her love of gold and uh -huh. her red lips. So I guess that's where you've got the red and the gold the coming the gold. through in this. Yeah. Um, again, a lovely sort of deep, um, almost orangey terracotta yes. red um, as the stone on the top of the bottle top yeah. there. Let's nice. try this one. We'll yeah. spray this one on yeah, the other do. wrist. So this one, I know this one because I was wearing again, I was wearing this the other day. Mm. And this one is much more spicy and warm. Okay. And already, oh, like a floral musky fragrance, you know. Oh, And it's almost got this kind of 
aristocratic sensuality. It has. About it, it smells expensive. Mm, it does. It? <laughs> it does. It's now. Don't shoot me for saying this, but I, when I was wearing it, I was thinking of food, and I was thinking okay. of like very expensive, rich chocolates combined mm. with a very, very high class curry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let me explain myself because that doesn't sound that glamorous. But you know when you when you go to a, a nice curry house and you've got really good aromatics mm, and spices mm, and mm, the fl- it's not just a hot curry, not a tikka masala. No, <laughs> no. But like a really one that's been yeah. put together beautifully and, yeah. and it's it's a pleasure, a sensual pleasure yes. to eat. Yeah. And then nice explosions in your mouth. Exactly. Yeah. And then a nice rich chocolate dessert afterwards. Yes. That's yeah, for me, it is fragrance. very rich and that kind of warm yeah. edible, isn't it? It is. It's got it's got those edible, it's got nutmeg in it. Yes. Um, and the star anise. You it's know, that little bit licorice mm. yeah, definitely. But it also has things like you rich and ylang ylang. Yeah. I, it's, for me, it smells really, even on the initial spray, quite animalic. Okay. So there's quite a kind of... Um, yeah, like a pheromonal, mm, um, musky sexiness to it. Mm. Uh, I have to say it lasts, this one. Yeah. I mean, they're both... Are they Eau de Parfum? Concent- oh. Yeah, Eau de Parfum. Just yeah, I think all of yes. them are Escar. Yeah. Um, so a good concentration and, yeah. Really you don't nice need a lot of it. Quality. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't. Mm-hmm. You don't. Um, so, yeah. Have any of you guys tried Moresque? Um, mm-hmm. They're starting to spread now. Um, yeah. And to have more kind of... Um, places where they're sold yeah uh, so in the uk it's only in harrods yeah so get yourself along to harrods if you want to try them in the uk but i know that there's quite a big market in the middle east in dubai yeah. etc and in um, eastern europe i think as well mm. so yeah and um, let us know if you've tried um either of these fragrances and what you think um and thank you so much for watching see you again next time bye, bye.